Let's multiply 4 and 3 fourths times 5 and 1 half. And to do this, I like to turn each of these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Remember, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So let's do that. To turn this into an improper fraction, 4 and 3 fourths, 4 is the same thing as 16 over 4. And then we're going to add another 3 fourths. So let me take that one step at a time. So this part right over there is the same thing as 4 plus 3 fourths. 4 is the same thing as 16 over 4. 16 over 4 plus 3 fourths. And so if I add these two, I get 19. 19 over 4. So 4 and 3 fourths is the same thing as 19 over 4. A kind of quicker way, or a way that would take less space to do that, you'd say 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. 19 over 4. And then let's do the same for 5 and 1 halves. 5 and 1 halves is the same thing as 5 plus 1 half. 5, if I multiply it by 2, is the same thing as 10 halves. 5 is 10 halves, and then we're still going to add plus 1 half. And then 10 halves plus 1 half is 11 halves. And once again, a kind of faster way of doing it, you could have said 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 11 halves. And now we can multiply. They're both improper fractions. And so this is going to be equal to, the numerator is going to be 19 times 11, 19 times 11. And the denominator is 4 times 2, which we can do in our head. That is just going to be 8. And 19 times 11, you could do it in your head. You could say 19 times 10, this is what my head is doing, 19 times 10 gets us to 190. And then 19 times 11 is going to be 19 more than that. So then I would just add another 19 and get us to 209. If that makes no sense to you, we could just multiply it out. We could just say 19 times 11. 1 times 19 is 19. And then we put a 0 here, because we're essentially now multiplying 10 times 19. So 1 times 19 is another 19. Once again, it's really 10 times 19 is 190. We add, we get 9, we get a 10, and then we get 209 again. So this part right over here is 209 over 8. And that is the right answer, but we've written it as an improper fraction. Now we can convert it back to a mixed number. So we want to convert 209 over 8 to a mixed number. That's the same thing as 209 divided by 8. So let's just divide 8 into 209. 8 doesn't go into 2. It does go into 20 two times. 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract. 20 minus 16 is 4. Bring down the 9. 8 goes into 49 six times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract, we end up with a remainder of 1. So 209 over 8, or 209 divided by 8, is the same thing as 26. So this is equal to 26. And you have a remainder of 1. So 26 and 1 over 8. 26 and 1 over 8. And 1 over 8. And we are done.